Hey everybody, I had a question on the channel regarding the materials used to repair the front bumper on the Camaro. Um, I did that some time back and I used this material, um, structural adhesive, 3M part number 08101 and the question came back saying they couldn't find the material anymore and did I know anything about it. And so I did a little bit of digging and, you know, agreed that I couldn't find it either. The places where I had bought it, um, it was no longer available either. And so I set apart uh, 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 searching a little bit. Um, and in some of my newer stuff, my, my newer service manual had a different number and I went and searched for that and it's not good either. I went to 3M and to their contact and I went in and made an inquiry to 3M, you know, and said, hey, this is what I used to use. Um, I, want to, I want to use it again. What, what do you suggest? Is there a correct material uh, for this um, application? This application is a little bit special because the bumpers on these cars are urethane. And I don't think very many manufacturers are using urethane bumpers these days. They have different materials that they use that are flexible. Uh, some may be, but um, in the 80s this was kind of new and unique. So in any case, um, I put in an, a query, uh, I got an answer from a 3M uh, sales application uh, person. So his recommendation came back to use something called 05887 Easy Sand Flexible Part Repair. And it's a two-part epoxy. Uh, he also cautioned me that there's a, a suggestion to use adhesion promoter for certain materials. And he said, absolutely for urethane, don't. Uh, third, he said, use light coats of primer. Try not to use, uh, when you put primer on, this, on it and on the surrounding area, don't use heavy coats. He said urethane tends to absorb uh, the solvents and swell, and uh, it's better to go in and do light coats. And then he gave me some references, which I'm showing here on the slide, for what they call their standard operating procedures. And I'll just, I'm not going to go through them in great detail, but I'm going to just show you what you have. I'll, I'll put links in. But um, this is the material, uh, Easy Sand Flexible Parts Repair. It comes in um, this particular part number. It's a two-part epoxy with a, it, it's um, like two, two cylinders in a syringe that you press. It's got, a, um, it's got a working time of five minutes sanding time of 15, paint time and a half an hour. So it's a pretty fast operating uh, material and uh, it's designed for flexible bumpers and flexible parts. Uh, there's some information here on, on how, to prep, how to prep it. Uh, again, in this document it says, you know, uh, adhesion promoter for polyolefin and they, he said, you know, that's not appropriate for this one. Um, there's some information here on the general repair process and how to how to apply it how to sand it uh, even here you'll see it says don't solvent wipe, wipe it before you uh, apply it and there's the last page and then here is uh, what he pointed me to which is for a two-sided repair this is the standard operating procedures for a two-sided bumper repair and you can see there are eight steps on here and so, as far as I can tell, this would, you know, replace the GM service manual method. You got a new material and some new techniques, and 3M, as I said, I very specifically asked about urethane, so he, he understood quite well. Uh, and there were two SOPs. One is for, a, I'll, I'll call it the two-sided repair, like, you know, I had a pretty big crack in here. I would use the two-sided one. And they have some reinforcement materials called out that are maybe different than what I used in the past. Um, and then there's one they call for cosmetic repair, which maybe is a little bit lighter uh, method that if you just had a gouge or something and you were trying to trying to fill it and smooth it. So I encourage you to go you know go out to the 3M site and look at their references. Uh, in addition to the PDFs that I downloaded, they have a whole page, a web page, that is. Uh, full of different instructions. They've got some videos out there. Uh, the main thing when I went looking was um, I could not find a material that said in this data sheet that it was good for urethane. So my question really was, you know, what can I use on urethane? 
and it's a two-part epoxy. And I guess I'll go back and say that, you know, that, that this structural adhesive one was, um, I think, was also an, an epoxy. And the paint that I used that was specified by the paint people was an epoxy paint to go to the, direct to the urethane. So it all kind of lines up that it should be the right kind of adhesive to use. I can't give you any guarantees, but that was what, uh, what 3M uh, recommended as a replacement for working on these old cars. I told him I was working on an 85 and what the bumper system was, and he was very helpful. I have to hand to the 3M, it was, uh, it was good to have, uh, have that professional advice. That's all for now.